So I just want to do a breakdown of everything that um, the CP has said they're going to do. At least, um, I believe our meeting today was um, a progress. It was successful. And um, I'm going to read out everything that they've um, said that they're going to do. And then maybe bring three people online to talk about it. And, you know. Okay, so. Yes, updates. Governor to say updates. <laughs> All right, so. Um, for the autopsy. The CP said the body will be exhumed this week. I'm sorry, this weekend rather. And an opt autopsy will be. No, let me take that again. Sorry. For the autopsy, the body will be exhumed this week, and an autopsy will be carried out immediately. This will be done between now and the weekend, right? So. Results will follow shortly after. So they will definitely exhume the body and um, an autopsy will be carried out this weekend. But we will now have to wait for the results and hopefully maybe the results will come out um, shortly after that. So for the interrogation, the interrogations, they said um, apart from the two people that we're talking about, you know, um, several other names has been dropped also. Several names has been given and they have reached out to all the parties mentioned. So that means all the parties mentioned, plus, uh, plus uh, every name that was mentioned, Naramali, um, Whatever, Larry, why do I keep forgetting that guy's name? What's that? Adbaya's name. Sam Larry. And every other person that their name has been mentioned, they said that the parties has been, and they have reached out to them. They have been given a few days to respond. So they've asked them to respond. That means to show face. You understand? And that um, a clear conscience fears no accusation, Abby. Yes. And um, they said that after the few days, if they do not turn up, that um, a warrant for their arrest will be issued. And uh, they will be declared wanted if they don't come. And in the case of the fact that, okay, they are not in Nigeria, blah, 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 if that is the case, yes, if that is the case, no matter where they are in the world, they will definitely fish them out through the Interpol. So through the Interpol, they will fish them out. Okay. So that's for that. For those of you that will be asking, what about all these people that they mentioned, that bully, that harassed? Do you understand? And the, the suspected people that you people are suspecting may have killed him, may have had a hand in his. Everybody, they said, has been reached out to. This is what the CP has said, and we're going to hold them for their words. Now, all evidence is important and necessary, and a hotline will be provided for all the videos. So, a lot of people have told me that there's a lot of videos. I've seen some videos, and then there's still a lot of videos. You know, a lot of people have also said they had videos they want to send them as evidence. Either videos of you being tortured by these said people, you understand, or videos that have to do with the link of Mobad, um, death, or harassment, or anything. Any video that you have, or probably you also have been harassed in one way or the other, they said... Um, we should set up um, what's it called now a hotline and um, so I'm going to read that again all evidence is important and necessary and a hotline will be provided for all videos pictures and informations to be sent to this will aid in the investigation no information is irrelevant or too small 
whether in Nigeria or in diaspora. Every little piece of information will help. And then I, Iyabo, will personally send all evidence received to the police authorities so nothing will be missed out and it will be completely anonymous that if you do not want your name mentioned it is fine so for this to happen i am definitely going to um, at the end of this video i will put one of my office lines there it's just strictly for whatsapp so if you have videos anything at all that you have pictures whatever it is send everything there and I will make sure I forward everything to the right authorities and I will still go to see them so that you know they can have enough evidence to look into it and pick out the ones that they'll be able to use, you know, to back whatever accusations, you know, or um, information that they need. Yeah. So it's going to help their investigations too. Now, um, on Mobat's family, we asked about them if they were going to be interrogated or questioned, and they said the family of Mobat will also be spoken and questioned if need be. So um, they're not disclosing who and who they're going to question or talk to, but if need be, they will definitely carry out that, um, that too. So we requested protection for uh, Mobad's wife and child, and they definitely have provided protection, I think, as we speak. I'm not too sure. I haven't called any of them to confirm if they have protections now, but I will definitely do that to find out if they have been sent um, protections. Yeah, because I knew the CP ordered that they should send some men down there, policemen, for, um, to protect them. Um, burial. Um, we asked, uh, we. We have asked for Mobad to be given a befitting burial, which will be organized if his family permits, because he wasn't buried well and deserves better. So we ask that after they've done the autopsy and everything, we would like to give him a befitting burial. You know, he's our emole, so we need to bury him well, right? But we also would need the permission of his family. I personally spoke to the mom yesterday and she agreed, she's happy about that. In fact, she wants that. She doesn't like the way her son was buried. But you know, um, the family have to agree. She also said, she told me personally that she was going to speak to the dad and that the dad was going to agree on it. So, but we also had to bring it also to the CP that he can also help us speak to um, the dad. He says we should also try and speak to the dad on that too. So, um, so I'll try and see if there's a way I can get uh, to the dad. I have his contact. I'll try and call him and see if I can also have that conversation with him so that we can give uh, Mobad a befitting burial. Okay. And I will also talk to one or two people in the entertainment industry to see how that can be possible. Okay. Um, on social media, um, because I complained about um, a lot of people um, coming on social media and threatening people. People come on social media and threaten, I'm going to kill you, if you do that, you're going to die, da, 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 da. and we complain that all that has to be copped. And they said they already had made provisions for that. There is a 24 hours police complaint response unit. Any necessary information, and also if you have like information that we talked about, video, pictures, anything can also be sent to them. Apart from you sending it to the number I'm going to provide, you can also send it to them. I'm going to put their, um, I'm going to, after this video, I will post their flyers. On that flyers has all the information. So this flyer, I have the e-copy, I'm going to post it. So they work 24-7. If anybody has threatened you in any form or in any way, you understand, and you have evidence to back it up, please call them, send it to them, email them, everything. They have their number. They have a website too, which I'll also post when I'm posting, you know, this uh, e-flyer, so you can get in contact with them. So when people come and threaten you, blah 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 blah, on social media, just send it there, and they would definitely respond if at all you don't get a, they, you will get a quick response according to them but if need be 
the number I will also be putting under this video you can send to me and then I'll forward it to them and they'll take it up. But they have promised and they have said that it works 24 hours and it is very, very effective. Okay, so we are getting there. Um, so, okay, I'll read that again. There's a 24 hour, um, 24 hours police complaint response unit. Any necessary information can also be sent there and they are active all day, every day, anytime. Okay. So I also brought up DJ Splash. I talked about DJ Splash, you know, and I'm very happy. Number one, I want to say a very big thank you to everyone that has contributed towards um, DJ uh, Splash getting help and his health and everything. And I must tell you that as I'm speaking to you right now, he is receiving treatment. Right, he is receiving treatment in a very good hospital. Yes, because we need to uh, make sure that DJ Splash comes out healed and hearty. So he's um, receiving every necessary treatment right now. Thank you for your donations. We will still appreciate. And, you know, for those of you that have not donated and want to donate to DJ Splash, we we'll appreciate that. Um, you kindly please support the young um, boy. So uh, at the end of this video, I would also be adding DJ Splash and contact again. If you look at the previous video when I went to interview him, his um, the um, account details is there, but I will still put it in again, yes. So he's getting treatment already. He's very happy. I even spoke to him before coming live. He was very happy about it, you know. So he's not resisting like before. He's cooperating and he's doing fine. And by God's grace, he's going to get healing. And um, I would please beg that you put him in, his, in your prayers. Please pray for him, you know, pray for him because there's nothing God cannot do, right? There's nothing God cannot do, yes. Um, um, we talked about the music industry. And because I have, I personally have received a lot of complaints about bully going on in the music industry. Um, a lot of complaints has been said. Um, so I spoke to them about it and then the CP has requested that the music industry, the leaders there, must officially write them requesting for the support to cope bullying, harassment, torture and excessive drug use in the music industry. So now you guys know that I am not a musician, right? But we all want justice for Mobad. And we know that one of the saddest um, moments we are all sharing or witnessing now is all the harassment and bullying that he went through from um, Sam Larry. Am I right? Yes. So. And um, he also mentioned um, Naira Mali, right? So for this to stop, the music industry, the CP has said that you can write them. If you write them and lay out all this complaint, the entire music industry, if you write to them, they will be able to help you respond to that need because i said if they can create a unit and they said they know what they're going to do but they just need you to write so i'm begging on the leaders in the music industry i don't really want to be distracted because we want justice for mubad and justice for gd splash and all the young guys that are going through a lot right now right but I am begging all the leaders in the music industry, please write that letter and send it to them. Because after DJ, after Emobad gets justice, and you people don't write that letter, I will wear my black bonnet for you. A lot of you are my friends. So please tell the or guys in the music industry, 
Our kids can't, you know, they can't keep getting bullied, harassed every time. If a record label has signed an artist and the artist no longer wants to be with you and you need to dissolve your contract with him, please dissolve it gently and let the boy leave. Threatening, uh, bullying, harassing, sabotaging his job. All that one cannot happen again. No? So you guys should write the letter gently and let the CP, the police, the government do their job. Because we keep saying, and uh, the government, the government won't change. The change starts from you and I. The change starts from the industry. So the leaders in the industry, please get on this. Write the letter. Send it so that they can help enforce it. If not, black at I'm a two better another wala. Command the yabo today. Wala yabo po. Me, I get coconut head. I get coconut head. I will come back to that. Hmm? Our children must be able to feel safe. We have, music is one talent. I keep saying it that has put Nigeria on that map. It is, and we are not going to allow anybody sabotage it for them. These children cannot be afraid to come to you. And I want to advise all the young ones. Yes, when you find these um, labels that want to sign you, please get a lawyer so that your contract, your lawyer can help you check it out. Emma Law sign me, Emma Law sign me a rubbish. And don't go and sign something that will cause you problem. Get a lawyer. Let your lawyer check all your contracts out very well. If you don't have money for a lawyer and you have, I, I'm not joking, you know, if you don't have money for a lawyer and you have a promoter that has said, I will sign you, and you don't have money for a lawyer, you see this number to put here, save it. Eh? I will send you a lawyer. I will pay the bill for the lawyer. I don't mind. When I confirm, that yes, you want to sign this person and they say yes, and you don't have lawyer, money for lawyer, I will send you a lawyer. Don't use their lawyer, get your own lawyer that will read it and check it out and then sign it for you. Emma Loma sign is like who sign? Don't go and sign the one that will put you in trouble or put you in bondage or put you in a, a certain situation that they'll be beating you up and down, threatening your life. Please. Okay. So, the leaders of the music industry, me, I'm emphasizing it because these are the things that is causing all these issues now. He wants justice for them too. So, please, make sure you write that letter to the CP. Mm. Write it to the CP because I'm going to be on the case. After this one, I'm coming there. Mm. I'll be on the case. Do you understand? So, write the letter to the CP and let them mm, do the needful. Uh -huh. So, um, okay. All right. So, yes, I'm going to post this and put the um, uh, all the informations on that. Please, it's important. Uh, we went there, we saw it. I'm sure you guys would have seen it on the videos too. You understand? All your complaints can go there also. So, apart from the number I'll be putting down, you can also communicate with them, please. Please, the number that I'm going to put down. That you're going to send your videos. Don't go and send me the video that they might be me or send me picture. And don't call me on it because I will not pick your call. Don't send me personal issues. It's not a place for personal issues. Hmm? It's a serious matter. Don't come and send me, ah, thank you, ma. I have problems. Mm -mm. that, that is not a place to bring your problem to. If you have evidence on this case, justice for Bobad. Justice for DJ Splash, justice for any other musicians that is under a Malian record label that you people feel needs justice, send it there. Hmm? All right, thank you. Uh, so, um, they, they gave us a time frame, despite the fact that um, they're going to exhume his body and do an autopsy um, um, within a week. They are also going to get back to us. They, give, they asked us to give them two weeks. So they would exhume the body in a few days, uh, do an autopsy 
wait for the result but while they are doing that they're already on doing the investigation already they've arrested some people do you understand uh, but but you know they cannot give all that information out there are some information they can't give out but trust me though we are giving them two weeks but i and some few other people are still going to be communicating with them we're still going to be going back and forth communicating visiting doing a lot of you know background work and check so they've asked us to give them two weeks in two weeks they'll be able to tell us ah this is how far we have gone no and once they tell me trust me you see the way i've listed it that's where i will list it again come and sit down here and give you guys the news so please let's just give them two weeks but it's not like they are going to exhume the body in two weeks they said they will exhume the body in few days this weekend right